There's a lot of talk about school safety and school climate right now. And I want to point our attention to two videos that went viral this school year that should inform the debate. The first involves a 14-year-old in Louisiana. A student goes to the office and is requesting that his grandmother come pick him up. The school responds with the police officer coming in behind the student, several times larger than the student, and by the end of the incident, you see the student wrestled to the ground, punched several times, lifted off the ground, and slammed on the ground again. And in these moments, you see the school staff in shock at what's happening because it's a very violent situation, especially for an adult to be abusing a child this sort of way over a child wanting to call his grandmother. And the second instance involves a black girl who's 14 years old in North Carolina who was followed by police asking where she's going. And by the end of that situation, she's wrestled to the ground. Her arms are put in a bar behind her and she's crying and screaming for her parents. So both of these instances illustrate what can happen when we have too many police in schools. And we know that there are over 1.7 million students in schools with police and no counselor. And if you look at schools with police and no nurses, social workers, and psychologists, the number goes up to 14 million. And this is what we mean by school to prison pipeline. Schools are equipped in ways that will lead to instances and, and behaviors being responded to in that manner. Over 90% of schools are actually not meeting the recommended ratios. There should be one counselor for every 250 students, and nationally it's almost twice as much. You know, there's one counselor for every 444 students. So it's really important that we invest in schools and provide resources so that st student behavior and student needs are addressed differently. Another disturbing thing from the data is the fact that in the 2015-16 school year, students lost 11 million hours of instruction of their education because of suspension and exclusionary discipline and this was not felt equally. Um, students with disabilities were 12 percent of students but over 25 percent of the days lost. Black students are only 15 percent of students but almost half of these days lost. So we know disproportionality exists. There are states like Montana where you know, Native American girls are 12% of the population, but over 60% of students arrest. Um, here in California, black girls are 22% of student arrests, even though they're only 6% of girls. So the Federal Commission on School Safety blatantly ignored these clear and egregious disparities that are plaguing our children and that contribute to both the school to prison pipeline and the dual education system because America still is in a system where students of color are receiving a different education.